So we're testing um, the ability for this structure, this uh, structure uses mimaro, uh, an old construction technique which was first evidenced in, uh, in the Ngāti Awa Rohe in the 1700s and then more later on Tani Whirinaki in 1870. And we're testing it for its ability to uh, withstand an earthquake. So how do we do that? So we build this proof of concept timber structure. We hang one to two ton of water from the tahuhu and we pull it using a jeep and lever winches and apply a three ton of, of force laterally. And we keep doing it and keep cranking and cranking it and we finally end up with a, what we could call as a snap test where we, um, we release the lateral loads with the vertical loads and we can see through um, dynamic monitoring that's the deflection of the structure. So earthquake simulation. So Mimaro mimicking the earthquake and, and its performance. Tokotuake is interested in investing in Mātauranga Māori. We have $19 million that we um, use every year for all sorts of research to protect communities against natural hazards. This project's important because it was one of the marae that was destroyed during the Napier earthquakes and it also aligns with uh, Tokotuake's objectives of supporting Māori and building their community resilience. Like I started working on Tarim Whadinaki with uh, restoration around 2010 and um, that was with um, Historic Places Trust. So yeah, I I'm so excited about what's happening today and how far we got today. My um, pakara was to rebuild Tarim Whadinaki to um, show my people in Aotearoa on how this Mātauranga stood and, and um, how he was built, put up. So um, that, that was my whakaata was to always put him up. So Tani Whirinaki was built um, after the East Coast Wars and it was built to restore the mana of Ngāti Era, which had been devastated through uh, Raupatu or land confiscation, but also scorched earth policy. So all those trees you can see, they are younger than the carvings in the shed because all this land was scorched. If you look at the popo today, the some of the dimensions of those carvings have, have been increased in width, increased in height. So the whare was obviously moving around. There are stories amongst the hapu that uh, Tani Whirinaki at times was hidden. Eventually damage th sustained through things like earthquakes meant that the structure wasn't uh, able to um, stand anymore. And then eventually, since that period of about 1931, those carvings have been now uh, in that shed. This is innovative, uh, world-leading research happening on a marae in a poriki in the east coast of the Bay of Plenty. And we're doing this thanks to funding from uh, Earthquake Commission Tokotu Ake and Quake Corps, New Zealand's Centre of Research Excellence for Seismic Resilience. The future doesn't lie specifically with Whare Tipuna, the future lies with uh, actually with whatever we can imagine.